Hello everyone, this is Scott from SC Wood Designs. Just gonna bring you another update and we're making more tools for the shop. Uh, it's growing, it's progressing. Um, having to clean out my shop back more often than I want to. Uh, as anybody knows, it's a chore, especially with sawdust. Not very healthy either. So I decided to, you know, look at some designs, find out which, would, which one would work for my shop, which is a garage and it's very small. Uh, did not want to get any uh, 10 gallons or any big, huge air systems. We don't really have the money for that right now and we don't have the space. So um, got a shop back a while ago and it's been doing great. But as I said before, I just hate cleaning out that filter. And um, this way, with the dust deputy that I've just purchased, it's gonna prolong the life of the vacuum. It's, it's gonna prolong the life of the filter. Um, and it's gonna be more sanitary here in the shop. Um, I was referring to different designs online and on YouTube, and I found one uh, design that I really liked, and I happened upon the magazine, Shop Notes, issue number 109, and it's the shop back cart, and uh, it's a really good design. Um, the uh, bucket and the vacuum sh sit parallel and not vertical. Uh, I saw some vertical designs, but my opinion is that um, they would tip over. Uh, a lot easier, uh, especially I'm pulling that thing around and you know, it's just, it doesn't look very stable to me. So I really like the shop notes, uh, shop back cart. And um, it, it's got some detailed plans in there, but uh, some of the guesswork you're gonna have to do because you may have a larger or smaller shop back. Um, and you know, and you can customize it as I did mine, you'll see in the video, Instead of adding the smaller accessory holes, I added larger holes to accommodate the shop vac uh, tubes that you use to vacuum uh, the floor. And so I customized it and I'm very, I'm very happy with it. Yeah. I took my time doing the product project. Um, I bought the shop vac full kit. It came with all the necessary hardware. It came with a hose. I mean, you go online and you try to buy just a 36 inch hose, I mean, they're gonna charge you an arm and a leg. So I decided just to buy the kit. It was worth the money and I'm very happy with it. As you're gonna see in the video, it does a great job. Uh, vacuumed this whole place after I did uh, the, the project and uh, hardly any dust was in the vacuum. Uh, my filter wasn't spotless. It, it had some dust in it, but it didn't add any more to it. So. Um, it's impressive, you know, and they've got even better uh, technology out there now as far as the Cyclone technology. Uh, but, you know, uh, this is good enough for me right now. There are some knockoffs um, selling on Amazon and eBay, and I decided uh, not to support that behavior. I decided to go ahead and, and get the official uh, patented, uh, well, they may be under, it may be under pe a pending patent, but who knows. But I decided to get the real McCoy and, and make sure, you know, that it was legit and it had a warranty. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and um, give me a, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want and have a nice day. So I started out getting a feel for how big the cart should be for my specific shop back. There was measurements on the plans, but you never know making the cut line and making my cut here. My adjustable height workbench is working out just fine. After my cut, I went ahead and made the one inch um, border around the rim of the base. After that, I found the center so that I could make my circle. Finished off the design.
made a router jig here for the big circle. I plan on doing a video shortly of a custom router jig. Just adding to the mini that are on YouTube. I made several passes until I broke through and completed the cut. Note to self, get a spindle sander. didn't have any saw hole bits so I decided to use my Forstner bit to start the hole for the jigsaw. This is the rim still and I'm cutting out the lip for the shop pack to sit in. using the rim to make the outline for the base. Adjusting my work, making sure everything is fitting, looks good. This is the fun part about woodworking. You, you, you get to get you get to have your fingers gooey. I cannot wait to get those Bessie clamps. They're sending me ten. All assorted types. I used a straight pattern bit to make sure everything was even with the rim. The plan calls for every corner to be rounded, so that's what I'm doing here. Turns out that the plastic wrap tube was exactly the diameter I needed. The Craig workbench clamp came in very handy in this project. I'm so glad they sent it to me. I 
I'm now working on the accessory stand and I'm screwing in the side panels. Drilling out the top part of the accessory stand. This middle hole is where the hose comes through the top. The original plan called for very small circles on either side. I decided to make them a little larger for my vacuum tubes. This is the back part of the accessory stand. Now I'm working on the tube holder that goes below the top, making sure it fits. Now I have to determine where the accessory stand goes according to my shop vac. I found an old baby crib in the trash and used these thick round posts and they already had a nice dowel in them so it worked out just fine. Drilling out the holes for the accessory stand to be attached to the base. pre-drilling the screw holes these are three inch screws I made some uh, template for the right height securing the top more. This is in the plans. Testing out the tube holders. I put the shelf a little lower to accommodate the size of the tubes. Now making the lid that swivels up so that you can take the dust deputy lid off and empty the bucket. And it turns out that the bucket that the dust deputy came with is the right diameter for the uh, lids rounded corners.
something happens to the plywood when you sand it, especially if you had red sanding paper attached to your orbital sander. I later on decided to put an outline on that so it looked sharper. I'm free grilling the holes for the hinges. routing out the actual handle of the lid. As you can see, I'm very high tech. That was a joke. making a template for the holes holder so that I can continue copying the rest of the holder. There are six pieces that need to be glued together and attached to the back of the shop cart. Didn't need to cut too close to the line because the router and the sander will do the job. rounding out the corners of the back of the hose holder. I wanted to have the screws uniform so I used the Craig shelf jig. Perfect. Got these casters from Amazon. All four were $15. They're sort of cheap, but they do the job. Well, time to put everything back together. for a test drive. I 
I've lost over 37 pounds doing this woodworking and I'm so glad. Well, the shop cart responded really well. The caches are working fine. There was a little bit of dust on my filter initially, but it didn't really add to it at all. I'm so glad I don't have to dump it in the trash can and mess with all the dust getting all over me. This is working out just fine. I highly recommend that you build something for your dust problem in your shop. This worked for me very well. Please remember to like and subscribe to support our channel. Have a nice day.